It's that time again. I've got the Fender Christmas Jumper. I am going to do another song actually playing a Fender as well. Today I'm going to be teaching you a very Chet Atkins inspired Jingle Bells. Um, you've probably seen the likes of Doyle Dykes actually play that kind of thing. I actually have done something very similar a long time ago. Uh, so I've tabbed something a bit more concise for you guys and played that. That's what we're going to be learning today. Uh, and then I'm also going to be doing a, the same song, but in a very different style, in like a so, sort of a solo jazz arrangement, but it doesn't have the fanciest voicings. It's just about sort of reharmonizing and making things a little bit more interesting. So check that version out. I'm going to put that in the link below. I'm going to do a double release this week on this particular song. Like I said, a Chet version and a solo type arrangement. So uh, before we get into it, you can get the transcription on Patreon. I will thank my latest patrons in the next video because I'm sure you're about good to go and so am I. So, you've seen the song. I would bring that up in another link if you can. Just open the same YouTube video, this video, uh, in another link. Get, this, get my little performance of it ready so you can go backwards and forwards and you'll know what you're hearing. But what I'm going to do is play roughly a bar or two at a time, walk you through it, and then proceed once I feel like you know what you're doing. So... Uh, we start with, it's basically a G chord, but I'm holding down, I don't I don't need to hold a full G chord, that's one of the beauties of finger picking, it allows us to have some free strings, let's put the third finger there, on the third fret of the sixth string, so we pick the sixth string and the second string together, just like this, and that's our first note, okay, I will play those first two bars for you actually, and then we'll go through it so you know exactly what we're doing. Okay, so we're pinching the 6th and the 2nd string, then we're pinching the 4th and the 2nd string, then we're pinching the 5th and the 2nd string, but my 2nd finger is on the 2nd fret of the 5th string. Then I'm picking the 4th string open, and that's our first bar, which will sound like this with a little bit of practice. Okay, I'm doing the alternating chet pattern today with the 6-4-5-4 four, four rhythm. Okay, just a little bit trickier. If this is really challenging, go back and check out. Uh, there's a playlist on this on Chet styled songs. Definitely worth checking out and building up a little bit. I've made this one just a little bit more advanced, but hang in there anyway because the way I break it down, I like to think anyone can do it. So we're into bar two now. We're p picking or pinching, as I like to say, the sixth and the second string, fourth and second string, fifth string. Again, I'm, I'm making sure my second finger is in place here. So we're fifth and second string. Then the fourth string on its own, and then the second string with the second finger, like that. Okay, those two bars should sound roughly like this now. See that? So we're playing on an offbeat at the end there. That's why we're not picking with the thumb, and that's really what most of this stuff comes down to. Okay, so bar three and four goes. Uh, I'll actually play that whole first four lines, and then we'll work on bar three and four. Sorry, four bars, that first four bars. Okay, so bar three, we're picking the sixth string. We're still, we've still got the open ringing from the previous bar, so I'll do that on the end, four and one. And then I pick the fourth string and the second string, and my pinky goes on the third fret on the second string. Okay, just like that. So one, two, and then I pick the uh, fifth string and I use my first finger to play the third string. Then I pluck the fourth string and I add my second finger to the third string second fret. And then my second finger plucks the second string like that. And the last bar of this line, bar four, is easy. We just pick six, four, five, four making sure your second finger's down okay so that's the first four bars i'm going to play the second four bars and then we'll work through it so we move to a c chord and then we have that funk 
funky little chord there. I just noticed my guitar sounds like it's gone a little out of tune. So we move to a C chord in bar five, the second line of the transcription. Again, if you don't have it, you know, you'll, you'll get by. Just make notes, write it down, do what you have to do. So we put the third finger on the fifth string, first finger on the second string. Okay, uh, sorry, well we play a C chord, and you should be able to play a C chord if you're playing this, but really quickly, third finger on the third fret, fifth string, second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and first finger on the first fret of the second string. That was a mouthful, hope I got it right. Pinch the fifth string and the second string together, pinch the fourth string and the second string together, bring your third finger to the sixth string, pinch the second string, and straight away we need to do the first finger on the, th on first finger on the third string. And then we pinch the fourth and second, and then we very quickly pluck the second string again with the second finger. Okay, that's a little tricky. Let me play that bar for you. So it's like a roll and then a double on the second finger. Okay, so if we break that down, pinch, 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 finger, pinch, finger. Okay, so I always think of it vertically. I think of the, the lower note and the top note together. I don't think of a bass line and a melody at the same time. Don't do that. You'll be genuinely trying to do two things and that's genuinely a bad idea okay so uh it's the the bar six second bar of this line so we come off this and we bring the third finger well the third finger is already on the sixth string we pick the sixth string so that's a bit boomy uh, and then we pick the fourth string and the second string and then we pick the fifth string and the second string and we're immediately going to do the first finger on the offbeat, okay, on the third string. So we go fifth and second, first finger. Now pinch the fourth and second, and flick your second finger again. Okay, and then we've got bar seven. We just pick the fourth string, and we play the uh, second fret on the third string. Just use your first finger for that, so. Then pinch the fifth and the third string, leave your second finger where it is, add your third finger to the fifth string. Play the third string again. Apologize, let me just go through that again. I've made a mistake there. So we do fourth string, third string, second fret. We pinch the fifth string and the third string, and we put our third finger on the third fret. And we pick the second string with the first finger. With the second finger, sorry. Second string with the second finger. This stuff's playing, it's one thing, teaching, it's another. Okay. Then what I do now is I just switch the second and third and I go like that. I mean, if you want, you can always just bring the first finger over the top and pinch second on the fifth and second on the third. You can do that or I, I do that for some reason. Um, and then we pick the fourth string open and we play this crazy little chord. Okay. I wanted just something, a little bit of quirky tension in there. I feel like that was something Chet was doing particularly uh, quite a bit at the end of his career. Well, throughout really, but it's just a nice little. So it's a it's a tension chord. Basically, I've just picked a few notes out that are kind of residing, you know, not too far from where we're going. I'm thinking about where we're going, so we get this tension of the G sharp resolving to the G, which is what the main chord of the song is, um, and we get the the C, which drops back into the B in the melody, etc. So. You know, it's nothing too... Uh, th I didn't get too theoretical. I just picked out some cool notes. So I hope you like the sound of that. Anyway, that whole line. Okay, or you can just go straight through with the pick um, and just lean your second finger over a little bit to block the fifth string. Okay, now the next part of the song, it's all the same as bar... One, two, uh, six, I believe. Okay, so this next part you've already learnt. Okay, so you've already learnt this. All the same. All the same. All the same. This is different now. Okay, so I apologise if you wanted me to walk you through that, but you've already learnt it. So good news you've actually saved time and I've saved time as well so we're now um, we're now going to the part where the D chord would have come in which previously we did this ah, that chord. why do I make things so hard for myself so we're so instead of doing that little walk down okay I got it right that time
of time. Yay. Uh, you will do this. So you'll get to... I'll come back from the C, actually. Here we go. Alright, so that's the ending. And that goes like this. We've come off the G chord. So, second finger on the second fret of the sixth string. Uh, and we... As we pick that, you can hammer your pinky down, uh, hammer the pinky down, because we've come off the open string. Okay, but I've, I've been finding myself picking it somehow, you know, I'm going... Alright, so you might even ditch that zero just before, just to, you know, doing three picks on the one string is probably not super practical. Chid Atkins probably would have done something smarter than that. But anyhow... Two, second finger on the sixth string, second fret, pinky on the third fret of the second string. Then we pick the fourth string and the second string. And then we pick the fifth string, second and first open. And then second on the sixth, second on the third, and second on the first. Okay, and then we just play. You can really just play a G chord. I'm picking the sixth string, third fret, third string open, and the third fret on the first string. And that's, uh, that's the end. It's a very selective way of picking out a G chord. You could use an extra finger and a little bit thicker. Okay, or you could strum. I block off the fifth string. I would block off the fifth string if I was doing that. So guys, that's my Chet Atkins version of Jingle Bells. Okay, hopefully you can practice that. I wanted to release it. It's a tad early. Well, I don't know. The Christmas decorations go up in October around here, so sometimes earlier. But um, So maybe it's a little early, but I want you guys to be able to practice that for Christmas and impress your family. I mean, I'm sure your family are already impressed with you, but now they'll be a little bit more impressed. Probably wouldn't impress my family. They'd be like, yeah, yeah, we know you play guitar. That's cool. Uh, anyhow, go check out the solo version. Might be more your bag. Maybe you've got two things. You'll learn some really cool stuff about arranging for solo guitar. Um, in my solo version, so check that one out. That'll be next. Take it easy, guys. See you later.